After scuba diving and watching trout respond to different colors of dry flies at different times of the day, my friends and I came to believe that the theory of color attraction is an important new idea in fly fishing. It's simple, it's based on third grade physics, and it works. Guides on western rivers who have tried this theory for choosing the right color of a tractor dry fly report a 20 to 30 percent increase in the number of trout caught by their clients. Color attraction is simple. Photographers know that light has color. It isn't white. Under warm, reddish orange light during the evening, an orange or red object is going to be incredibly radiant, almost on fire, and that makes it stand out. On a tree-lined stream on a summer day, there'll be a lot of reflected green light, and a green object is going to be intense. During midday on open water, when natural light is yellowish, a yellow object will shine like a beacon. That's the color theory. Pick the attractor fly that matches the color of the ambient light. You know, it's October, Gary. The days are shorter. Once that sun hits the mountain, it's over with. So we start early and fish hard. <laughs> That's right. You know, I've really enjoyed fishing with you and Chester, and I've enjoyed your tractor patterns, especially the Mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> they're fun. You know, one of the reasons they're so much fun is that you don't know what to expect. When you have an imitation, if it's the perfect imitation and you're fishing it correctly, you can't be 100% certain, but you can be reasonably sure of catching that fish. Mm. With an attractor, you're almost trying to get that fish to come up against his will. You're trying to trigger his curiosity. Well, I kind of compare it when a man's on a diet and that steak rolls by. <laughs> it's awful hard to resist, isn't it? <laughs> I guess that's what it is. You're showing him a blue or pink steak. <laughs> well, you know, I'd like to come back to this river and try some of your other patterns from the book, Dry Fly, New Angles. I'd come back to this river and fish anybody's patterns. That's well, how much I love this place. <laughs> and fishing with you, Jack. Well, let's go, buddy. Let's hit Time it. Time to head home. I fished, I fished Gunpowder Falls many yeah. times. And I uh, caught a fish about this size. I said, well, well, let me get this little fish off and I'll show you how to fish streamers. And they all went, oh, oh, we've never seen a fish that big here. Well, I've seen, I, they, they've seen them that big, but that is a nice An 18 inch fish can fight like a 28 inch fish. It's a good, healthy fish. Yeah, nice coloration in it. Yep, it is brown. Nice fat, like a football. That's what you'd expect. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. You know, this, this river, river in the fall can have fishing just like in New Zealand. It's really great spot fishing where you see the fish rising and just before they get ready to spawn. Beautiful. Also, in uh, nicely done. That was not, for all our joking, that was not an easy fish. You had to be able to spot him, okay. get your cast right on his nose because he wasn't moving far left to right behind his rise and then be able to see the strike. Oh yeah, got him right, got him right where I should have, right in the mouth. <laughs> All right. This time when uh, the fish are feeding on strays, sometimes you can actually do better than you do during the main hatch because there's not so much food out there. Yeah, I agree with you. Well, they, well, your flies competing with a lot less natural. Absolutely. You know that that just makes sense. Well, Gary, we're on the Green River. Probably one of the best early season rivers in the, all of the West or all of America. Well, it's one of the best all-season rivers. I don't know if it's any better in the spring than it is in the oh. winter or the summer or any other time. The weather's a little bit nicer now than it is either in the winter or when it's 100 degrees during the summer. It is. You know, it's a funny time. It's April, 
And most people don't think about throughout the West, especially in the northern part of, the, of America, they don't really think of April being one of the best, if not the best, dry fly month. You get your betas, you get your blue-winged olive. Then near the end of the month, you'll get your granum, your little four-sided case caddis. And uh, they're both spectacular. You know, there's a lot of rivers, the green, of course, in uh, northern Utah, and uh, actually a little bit of it's uh, even in Wyoming.